Lastly, it's Monday night, so that means it's time for Athlete of the Week. This week's honoree averages 18 points, 3.5 assists, and 4 steals for Class 3A's 9th-ranked Storville Tigers basketball team. She can fill it up with the best of them, but this weekend, one bucket meant a little more than the rest. Julia Mitchell has the story. Haley Strum had no idea what happened. I fell on the floor after that layup, and I got up to run back on defense. And everyone's like running out on the floor, I'm like, what's going on? But yeah, and then I saw a little poster, and I was like, oh my gosh. What was a normal bucket for the senior was actually her 1,000th career point. It was really cool, and I, I couldn't have done it without my teammates, so it was awesome to share that with them. Head coach Ryan Liffrig knew Strum needed 21 points to reach the mark, but Haley didn't. She didn't want to know because she didn't want to change the way she played. Thought it was a cool way to look at it. So she scored 24 points as Storville knocked off third-ranked Alexandria. Performances like that are what Strum has made a career of. Let's go, let's go! She's got the heart of a lion. She's one of the fiercest competitors we've ever had, day in and day in and day out. And it don't matter how tall, how big they are, she's going to go in and she's going to find a way. Liffrick saw it in fifth grade when she was just a young cub. Ninth grade is when she first stepped out of the varsity role, and I was worried because she was five feet tall, and right away the other team tried to bury her in the post, and I can remember her fighting across. She wouldn't be denied, and she stole that pass. I'm like, we're going to have something here. Although Strum says fifth grade her wouldn't believe it. You're crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I, I never thought that I would do that. And so I'm proud of myself, and I'm, I'm thankful and grateful for the opportunity to do that. Yeah! But she does know this mark is more than just her. Oh. <laughs> I love the, all of them. They, I mean, they're all working hard every single day. They all put in the hard work. I couldn't have done it without them. I, I owe it all to them, too, you know? It's not just me. Haley Strong, KTPC.